More people worldwide die from lung cancer than any other type of cancer. Most of these deaths are, of course, caused by smoking. Other known carcinogens can also increase one's risk of getting the disease, but does air pollution cause lung cancer? The cancer agency within the World Health Organization now says yes, for sure. According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, in 2010, more than 220,000 lung cancer deaths around the globe were attributed to air pollution. With around 1.4 million people worldwide dying from lung cancer each year, that makes air pollution responsible for about 16% of lung cancer deaths. The head of the IARC put it into perspective, saying, we consider this, air pollution, to be the most important environmental carcinogen, more so than passive smoking. Why is the report significant? Scientists in a soon-to-be-released publication titled Air Pollution and Cancer analyzed more than a thousand studies and concluded that air pollution contains a mixture of cancer-causing substances and therefore belongs in the same category as asbestos, tobacco, and ultraviolet radiation, substances deemed carcinogenic to humans. The report also specifically notes that particulate matter, a major component of air pollution, is a carcinogen. Particulate matter? That's the term for tiny particles in the air, like dust, soot, and smoke. Particulate matter comes from things like car exhaust, burning wood, and the dust created by driving on paved and unpaved roads. A satellite-derived map from NASA shows average particulate matter levels from 2001 to 2006. Remember, this is before the Chinese economic boom, and already Asian countries are bright red on the map. The IARC report offers this factoid, more than half of the lung cancer deaths attributable to ambient particulate matter were estimated to have been in China and other East Asian countries. It's not just cars, factories, and power plants that are causing this pollution. Consider those red spots in Africa. Pollution there is largely caused by people burning coal, wood, and other biomass fuels. Biomass is still used as the primary cooking fuel by approximately 2.4 billion people. In what countries are people most worried about local air quality? Ukraine tops the list, followed by Russia, Albania, Lebanon, Haiti, and Iraq. What cities in the U.S. have the worst year-round particle pollution? All seven of the worst cities, as ranked by the American Lung Association, are in Southern California, with Bakersfield coming in at number one. Other urban dwellers shouldn't be complacent, however. This new report highlights how the problems presented by particulate matter can be super local. Urban street canyons and crowded business districts, for example, can be two to ten times worse than outside of these areas, and exposure levels to air pollution in some parts of the world is increasing significantly. That's the short answer.